We're ready. It's all right. I'm going to drum up some audience. Okay, let's work that over there. Chat for me, chat for me. Right, wait for somebody to join. Say hello. Wait. There's someone that's joined. Why is that? Hello, one YouTuber. How are you doing today? I'll kick off in a sec. Oh, it's freezing in this room. Freezing. Do do who's gonna be first in the chat? Sunshine. Thompson. All right. So we got two on. Four on. Here we're getting there. We're getting there. Right. So um, I wanted to have a quick look at Process Lasso because so many people keep asking me, okay, I've just installed Process Lasso. What do I do with it now? Uh, do I just leave it? And what do I do with it? So I'm actually going to show you what I do with it and then I'm actually going to take that further and we're going to take a benchmark and then I'm going to test something. I'm going to test whether putting basically, let's do a select all and putting the whole lot into efficiency mode apart from the game increases, increases, um, increases FPS. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to make basically the entire operating system put it into an efficiency mode. Um, there are going to be some exclusions from that because I run things like anti-micro for my controller. I don't want it, uh, an idle state. I want that in real time. Um, probably RTS, RTSS you probably want to leave alone as well because that's controlling, that's controlling the frame pacing. So you don't want to, you want that, um, you want that normal. Um, and probably leave um, processor so alone as well, so it can use its um, pro balance properly. But other than that, I think we can probably try and put everything. Hey Zeppo, I think we can probably try and put everything into efficiency mode. So it does. Now efficiency mode will basically put everything to idle. But if you've got E cores, it will just try and run it on the E cores, not on the P cores, which is what you want. Um, by default, Windows 11, notice efficiency mode is only Windows 11, not Windows 10. This was introduced in Windows 11 efficiency mode. And by default, that some things are automatically in efficiency mode. Um, so what I've just done is I basically got processor suit and I have reset the configuration. Um, uh, so going from, going from, um, Right from the beginning, I'm going to go through all the steps now that I do in Processor Sue, and then take a benchmark, and then I'm going to try that efficiency mode for literally everything. Now, I do not have e cores. I'm going to try this test again when I do next week on my new PC. Um, but it will be interesting to see by setting things to idle whether it puts the game at a higher than priority. Now, it is a battle eye day today as well, so I can, in theory, change the game to, like, real time if I wanted to. But easy anti-cheat days is not going to let me do that. So I do not like doing anything to the Fortnite um, executable because it won't work half the time because easy anti-cheat will block it. So I'm basically looking at this now as doing everything apart from the game file and demoting that instead of promoting the game, the game executable. I'm doing it the other way around because I can't, I can't get around it with easy anti-cheat. So that's, that's, that's what I'm planning on doing. So right, let, let's start. So let's pretend I've just installed, um, let's pretend I've just installed Processor Sue, right? I've, I've got Pro. Pro lets you do a couple of things like, um, for example, see this widgets here. I don't, I don't want to run widgets. And you can turn them off in your task um, taskbar here, but you it still runs processes. Look, if I search for widget here, that it still runs 
um, processes. So I don't know why that's come up for those, but anyway. So and it's running some web um, edge web view things with them as well. So I don't want that running on my PC. So part of the debloat things that I do after running CTT is I use processor su to basically exclude. This allow processes that I don't want running at all that I can't seem to get rid of in Windows 11 and they keep bringing them back. So the pro version lets you basically say whenever it spots one, it will remove it immediately. And same for the service, please. So that's one of the first things I do. I do disallow processes um, for widgets. Um, if you have something called Game Bar Presence Writer and that only appears normally once you start a game, do it for that as well. Game bar presence writer, or one word. So if you ever see that in here, uh, right click it and do um, a disallow process, okay? Um, so what else do I do out of the box? Um, oh yeah, so let's go and set up um, timer resolution because I use um, processor su for timer resolution. So I know my best timer resolution. That is, so by default, it's running. Uh, that. Go and get my timer resolution sleep test. Well, not mine, Amit's correction. So currently it's running one because I'm, I'm not setting it anywhere. But no, it's sleeping. It's, I'm asking the system to sleep for one millisecond, and the timer is taking 15 milliseconds to actually do it. So that's really bad. So we don't want that. I mean, we, most games will ask ask for this as well and they'll get that so no, don't, don't want that so we need to fix that and you can either use inter, um, intelligent standby list cleaner or timer resolution there's a there's an app for that or the best one is this which is processor so so um, tools system timer resolution so I know for a fact that my best timer resolution from when it goes from um, when it goes from like uh, just suddenly drops to one is that and you can set so 0 0.5067 0 0.566 not good 0 0.567 really good so you want as low as you possibly can where it just suddenly drops so I'm going to set that and I'm going to apply it every um, set globally so it uses everywhere not not just the op current open screen um, and then yeah, yeah set every boot so we've got to reboot now for that to kick in so that's done so let's reboot quick and just check our timer as check our um, timer. Should have brought some water in. Oh, there's some water over there. While that's rebooting, let me grab the water. So I'm really interested to see these benchmark differences because I think I might get a bit of a boost going with efficiency. Other people, other people recommend setting. CPU sets. Um, hey, Rig Commander, how are you doing? Thank you for the buy. Um, some people recommend using CPU sets and, and not having things on CPU zero, but that's not something I would recommend because um, I spend a lot of time in my guide um, moving interrupts away from core zero to the extent now where the core zero is kind of underutilized. So um, because, we're, because we've moved so much across, um, if I don't use the melody tool, um, here you can see that I've kind of moved my GPU over to core two. I've got uh, my input devices on core three. And I've actually also moved my um, network card to core four, even though you can't see it in here because I use our SS to do that. Um, okay, so, so I've moved a lot from core zero anyway. So it's not a bottlenecked core for me anymore. So moving the game off of core zero, all that does is it reduces the amount of resources that the game has. Um, so I, I like having all eight cores for my game because Fortnite runs across all eight cores. Some games don't run across all eight cores. Some, some will run on three, some will run on five, and some will run on eight. So um, I, I run them all on eight. Anyway, so my timer resolution now should be fixed. Move this down here a little bit. Um, so let's just double check time of resolutions now working. Yep. So I'm asking it, it there's the time of resolution that we set. I'm asking it to sleep for one millisecond and it's pretty much sleeping for just over one millisecond. And that's pretty much as low as you're going to get um, for the average. 
in the, in the hundred, about 100-ish. Some, some PCs are better, but I mean, that, that's a good result, 100-ish there. Right, anyway, so that's that done. Um, the other thing that, um, I, I don't want to block me too much with this corner, I'm conscious of that, but the other thing that I've noticed is RTSS, when it starts with the computer, starts at below normal, but if I close RTSS and reopen it now, it will just be normal. And I've benchmarked below normal, normal, above normal, and high. I've benchmarked them all with replays, and normal is pretty much a sweet spot. So I actually create a rule for RTSS for the CPU priority to always be on normal. So that's one of the first things I do as well. Um, I've had problems moving my Intel. Nick refuses to go to the right core. Um, Ramesh, if you, uh, well, I'm not sure. This is going to be in my guide soon, but there's a way of moving it. If your if your network card supports RSS, you can actually change what the base processor is. Let me zoom in on that a bit. There's a way of changing which core it uses your network card. So I'm saying it's a core CPU four there, and then it will use the last four C cores. It's meant to use the last four cores for the RSS queues, but this is a way around it. I found that this week. So um, this will be going into my next guide. Anyway, I'm, we're, we're going off on a tangent here. Um, yeah, so R RTSS, set it to normal. That's one of the, one of the things I always do. Uh, what else, what else, what else? Um, I've got Office installed on that, so I need to emote that at some point. Installed that the other day. I've got throttle stop running, so you don't get the, um, you don't get the bug with Windows security, with the threat protection and the um, real-time protection. Stealing five to ten percent of your um, CPU utilization, um, you can manually turn that off, or you can install Throttle Stop to do it, and that will just run in the background, and that will stop it doing it. Or you can install a premium um, gaming antivirus, and that will do it automatically for you, like Norton 360 for gamers. No, it's not in the guide yet. It will be in the next guide. I haven't released yet that that yet. I've been testing this all week. Um, so it, that's um, fresh off the press. Not it's secret at the moment. You're not getting it yet. Right. I need to make sure it's not going to mess anybody's PCs up before I before I release it to everybody. Um, but it's it's definitely better. It's really increased my hit edge as well. I mean, I'm I'm hitting some crazy snipes now um, from that. So anyway, yeah. And I was building um, doing building and editing on 80 ping on NA East the other day. And I was actually getting walls up before people can shoot me. So I was shooting, putting a wall up, and then they were shooting back, and it was blocking the wall. I mean, that never normally happens. So that that change is a really good one. So that that will be a, that will be a goodie. Um, right. What were we doing? We we're we we're doing process two. Um, right. So let's. This is pretty much out of the box now. So. Um, as I say, so get rid of the widgets things if you've got the pro version. Set your um, timer resolution. Um, make sure RTSS is normal and a rule for always priority normal. Um, and then start your game up. So that's the next thing. So let's start Fortnite up. I'm gonna. Do I want to do this? No, I'm gonna leave it anti micro out of the way at the moment. Leave that out. Leave it out. All right, start for out. So we're gonna we're gonna take a benchmark in it. But first of all, I want to show you what to do with your game in Processor Two. <laughs> I just had a very large takeaway curry, so I'm gonna get thirsty because they put much too much salt in. I think I look paler in this new light situation. I definitely look paler. I don't know whether it's my, um, change my monitor. Maybe I just look pale in my monitor. Need to fix the lighting. Right, come on. 
So, um, yeah, so we started the game. I'm going to go back to RTSS, I'm sorry, um, Processor Sue now. And we're going to find the process for the game in here. So we're going to find Fortnite in here. So where's the game up again? As I say, if you see something called um, Game Bar Presence Writer anywhere, right click that and this is a good time to um, permanently remove it. Right. So there's so it's a battle ID, BE. This is why it lets me, it can, I can actually, why is that saying restrained? I'm below normal. That's worrying. When I tried this earlier, it was actually high. Why is it restrained and below normal? Oh, maybe because I'm in the lobby and that restrains it to a hundred and thing. Oh, look, look, look. I've got some cause parts. What's that about? Why am I got some cause parts right now? Anyway. Uh, we'll work that in a sec. Uh, right click uh, the Fortnite shipping. So the easiest way to do this normally is sort by CPU time. You can see that by far your game is going to be using up the most CPU right now. So that'll stick it at the top. So we're going to induce performance mode. Oh, I don't know where you saw that. I'm going to make that a bit smaller. So induce performance mode. And we're also going to exclude from Pro Balance. I like Pro Balance. I'm going to turn that on. And Smart Trip. Start trim as well. That's good for managing the um, memory as well. Keeping your memory nice and nice and available. Um, okay. So yeah. So now we've got these two rules: exclude from um, pro balance and induce performance mode. We've got those two rules there. It's interesting. That's not, and it's now gone to normal. It's now gone to normal because we included it in included it in the um, in the induced performance mode and exclusion pro balance. Interesting. Easy and cheap wouldn't let you do any of that, by the way. Right, so those two things. There's no point in doing anything more than this. There's no point in making it real time. There's no point in making the CPU, um, CPU sets, the IO priorities, no point in any of it, because if it was an easy anti cheat day, um, then it would just block it. It wouldn't let you do it. But because it's a battle ID, it will let you do it. Um, question. After I close Fortnite, it's, it, it stays at ultimate performance instead of going back to bit someone. Did I do something wrong? Well, normally you have kind of a main active um, Power, on your desktop, you, you choose one of these power plans, like balanced or ultimate. Um, and then whatever, if you've induced performance mode with, with something, then it will take whatever you've got for options, power, performance mode, select power profile. It will take whatever that is and set it as the induced performance mode. So I'm going to actually change that now to say induced ultimate performance during performance mode. And then this should change in a sec. Um, I don't know why these are parked. They shouldn't be parked. I don't know what's going on there. I might have to reboot to fix that. That's just a weird, being weird bug at the moment. Anyway, so we started our game up. We've sorted by um, CPU percentage or total CPU. Um, and then we've right clicked. We've got induced performance mode and exclude from pro balance. Yeah, that's the takeaway from that. Um, once that's done, uh, you should be good to go, really. I'm going to reboot though quickly because I don't understand why um, why those cores were being parked. They're grey. They shouldn't shouldn't have any grey cores right now at all. If they're grey. It means they're parked, and they shouldn't be parked. There shouldn't be any parking. Balanced, yeah, sure, no problem. But if we switch to performance mode, then none of these should be parking with those um, power plants. So something's weird's going on. So I'm going to reboot. So very quickly, let me start. Can't wait for Thursday next week when I get my new PC. That's going to be awesome. 
Oh, then I've just got to work out how I'm going to cool it. Cool that CPU, the KS. That's going to be the challenge. Limiting. Zeppo shared an interesting article from um, Asus has just updated their BIOSes to actually limit um, Intel top processors to the recommended um, power limits. So I'm wondering whether MSI are going to follow suit soon as well. So that'll be interesting. Right. Oh, like nothing's parked anymore. I don't know why they were parking. That was, that was weird. Shouldn't be parking. Sometimes you just need to reboot to get rid of the bugs. Right. So let's now take a benchmark of what we've got. And then I'm going to go and basically do a select all, put everything into efficiency mode, um, and see whether you get better results or not. Um, what I am going to do is we're going to limit at three. We're going to keep with. Um, RTSS limiting the FPS, and we're going to keep the frame rate limit there as well. So, reflective of how I would be playing, this is a 360 hertz monitor, so I'm going to limit to 360 FPS. You get weird things happening when you go unlimited, so rather test a real world scenario. Right, okay, so let's start up the game again. Uh, this time, though, we are going to run Capframe X. And I also want to make sure CapFrameX isn't in throw balance as well. Uh, oh, hang on. Make sure that's not being throw balanced as well. So anything you want like real time, you don't want it being restricted, like latency mon or something. Just start it up, find the process name. Uh, there's latency mon. It hides from me latency mon, there we go. Yeah. Lat. And um, induced performance mode and exclude from pro balance. Okay. That off. So we're ready to record a replay and do a benchmark. Bum, 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 bum. Do you think the pro version of the lasso is worth it? I do think it's worth it. Yes. It's so good, processor suit. It's so good I managed to convince Ship to buy it. And he was like, oh, okay. Yeah, pro version is really good. Really good app processor suit. Do you think Lasso will play well on the new rig alongside Thread Director? I don't know. We shall see. But I'm going to be running it on the new rig. So, how do you put two CPU core affinities if I use hyperthreading for an Ethernet tweak? Um, you don't. You select. Um, you just select one of the fast cores. You select. Um, in your case, an even number core. You do. To be honest, you don't, it doesn't actually make a huge difference um, to, well, Fortnite particularly, um, in terms of um, load balancing, because you're doing such small amount of um, network uh, DPCs interrupts that it is it's tiny. It's, it's more about yeah, just spreading the load out and making making them be serviced quicker by a, a, a less interrupted core. Um, so you get late, less latency for the network processor. It's more about that. And there, there, it's not my 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 um, other things I've been testing this week are these ones, and I think they've helped with the hit reg as well. So it's not just this one that's the goodie; it's also these ones as well. And as I say, these will be going into the new network tweaks um, command file next next version. Getting dynamic ports way they're pre-index ports, quite useful. Speed things up. Anyway, divert. Alright, so let's go and run this replay and bench it. Let's go bench it. Get a baseline and then we're going to change processor C. So, gameplay, we're going to have to run it 
through twice. Nine, nine, nine. So we make sure all the shader cache is created and it's all nice and fair. Let's go. So we'll run this three minute replay Catch through twice. Um, and the second time will be the one we keep as the, as the kind of baseline before we then make, try and um, experiment with process to see a bit more with those efficiency mode things I want to try. Yeah, you can you can buy like an, um, a lifetime license for like thirty forty dollars. They keep putting up the price because it's so good, and the word the words getting around. When I bought mine, I've I've got household lifetime licenses for it, which you can't even buy anymore household ones. I think it was about twenty dollars when I bought it about about uh, four years ago or something. Now it's double that. I mean, it's only like. Three devices or something. Yeah. Huge fan of presses, I see. I mean, of the things that I buy license-wise on my PC, Processor Sue is definitely number one, I'd always get. Um, I used to get CC Cleaner until it started to schedule tasks that daily alt-tabs your game while you're playing. So I got rid of um, CC Cleaner, I'm not using that anymore. So IOBit, um, Advanced System Care, I replaced that with that with the system. Um, Driver Booster Pro and um, IOBit Uninstaller Pro. Oh, and also Norton 360 for gamers. And anyone that tells you that running Norton 360 for gamers is bloatware and you shouldn't do it has not tested because it's much less context um, switching and um, yeah, way less than Defender. Much less intrusive than Defender. I haven't tested it. Delta Cycles, that's the one. I tested it live for you guys. You saw me doing it live. So I couldn't have cheated. Nearly, nearly there for the first um, share of cash run. That's smooth, actually, right? Yeah, I made sure to reset Processor Sue completely the configuration before we started this stream. So I haven't done anything outside of what I've showed you. Capture finished. Was that? Go back to 999. Run another one, which will be then our baseline. Ready? Ready? Go. Right. And then we're going started. to basically select everything and turn on efficiency mode. Apart from the game EXE, uh, RTSS, because it's handling kind of real time um, frame pacing, um, anti micro, because I'm running my controller through that. In fact, there's a game services one I probably don't want to, uh, input devices, I probably don't want to do that for efficiency mode either. Um, what else would I maybe not want to have efficiency mode added to? Some of the core system processes you can't actually change and put into a system mode, and it will tell you which one when you do the select all, and then it will just say, no, sorry, you're not doing that one. So there's about 10 that it won't, it won't just won't do. But we're going to try and do as many as we can and not do some of the ones we know we shouldn't do. And then compare the um, compare the benchmark results. Live benchmark. By the time I get my new computer, though, this benchmark will not work because I think we're getting a new Fortnite update on Tuesday. So I'm going to need to create a new um, benchmark on Tuesday. Get the new PC. And you're about to format my machine in a day or two. Can I know when you update the guide, or is it possible 
to just get the file from Discord. I need to test on my machine before I do the format. You're going to test the network change on your machine before you format. What what have you got? What what's your what's your CPU and what's your network card and does your network card definitely have RSS queues? Can you set like two, four, eight RSS queues in your network configuration? Because a lot of people can't even set RSS, so those people cannot move their um, network traffic interrupts from Core Zero. You'll, it'll still spread it across the load, the actual network processing across all the CPU cores, it will just do the interrupts on a different core. KS, okay. So you've got e cores. Uh, I'm assuming you've disabled hyperthreading. I'm assuming with that CPU disabled hyperthreading. You don't need hyperthreading. All right. So let's have a look at the result. Yeah, have a look if the network card advanced settings has RSS listed. My Intel built in one to my motherboard does not. I had to put in uh, a separate network card in order to do it. Um, this is what I mean. I have to kind of come up with scripts that work for every possible scenario of everybody's systems and blindly just putting in co um, lines of code that um, will just not work for some people's PCs is a problem because they'll just come back and say, oh, it doesn't work, it broke my computer. Uh, what works for me not, doesn't necessarily uh, will work for everybody else. Um, right, right, right. So let's have a look at the next. So this is um, processor. So that's a normal setup. Right, let's make sure it's not got any. Uh, it's got a little bit of a peak there that I wouldn't want normally. But. It's really low stuttering still. What happened there? I don't know what happened there. Okay, well, we'll leave that. That that's, this should be all right. I mean, this one will probably be, that's actually it's probably better. Is that better? Is the first one actually better? No way. This one was better, apparently. It really was. It was actually better. All right. I'll well, just go with that then. Let's go one and two. Let's leave them there for now to see what it's going to be like. One and two. Second run. There we go. The first one was actually better than the second run. Um, look at yes. Do you have anything weird? They pretty much track each other, don't they? All right. All right, so let, let's do some tweaking of the processor too now and see what we can think we can put into um, efficiency mode. Going down the rabbit hole. Here we go. So let's start by just doing CPU time, because I'm curious to see, I mean, some of these things might not have had, I mean, some of these things might have had zero CPU time at all. Nothing at all, some of these. Um, so what we're going to do, though, is what we're going to do, what we're going to do now is, what we're going to do now is, we're going to select all, everything, and then we're going to hold control and take off things we think are probably a bad idea to put into efficiency. So, uh, throttle stop, probably don't want that into efficiency mode. Uh, RTSS, we know we need to keep that in normal, so we're going to not have that as efficiency mode either. Bit some session agent. I don't even know what that's 
Well, that's probably something to do with this, isn't it? Um, Process of Sue, we're not going to have. We're not going to have it. Um, put it into efficiency mode. What's this? That's a new one that's just popped up. A worker. It's not included, so we're going to include it. That's just another runtime broker there as well. An SDX helper. Some extra ones have just popped up. Are we looking through the list? Audio, maybe we shouldn't be putting audio on. I don't know. B. Exit lag. Yeah, I want exit lag in real time. That's network, so we want that exit lag in real time. So we're not going to put that in efficiency mode. As well. That's Windows Defender. Try to leave that in. Yeah, leave that one. Game input services. Okay, I want any input devices in real time, please. We're not going to do those. This is up. It's up here that we possibly would want to leave alone. Uh, we want the game. We're not going to touch that. Definitely not going to touch the game. Ally services in there, web helpers. Uh, Cloud Frame X. We're not going to put into efficiency mode. Well, that's one thing we're going to be measuring with. Right, so is that everything? Everything else looks potential targets for efficiency mode? As soon as I do efficiency mode, it will basically turn it to idle, unless it, and then it will need to wake it up to do something. Um, anything else, potentially? You take a chill with spamming in the chat. Sorry, no, but... Wait, have I missed, some, missed something? I missed anything, so thanks, sorry. Um, these ones, present mon, that's part of, I think that's part of um, these, aren't they, that game input services. It's under that tree there. This works, I'm going to have to come up with a definitive list of things to put into into, into efficiency mode, aren't I? Don't know about that. Below normal, though. Uh, maybe a bit right. Runtime brokers. Normal. All right, let's sort by um, CPU average now, just to see what we've got. Uh, so we're putting desktop Win Windows Manager in in the penalty box, Battle Eye Services, Windows Defender in, NVIDIA, Launcher, more NVIDIA stuff, um, Uninstall Monitor, we're leaving that out. MSI Afterburner, all that's really controlling is um, the custom fan curve, which once it's set, set, so that doesn't need to be real time. Um, game Input Services, there's uh, quite a few services there. A bit worried about doing the services. More services. Yeah, that services. I'm almost tempted to sort by system. What are these? What's that user? What driver host? <coughs> Some of these are being styled by system. I'm not sure I want a system one, but I do want hardware one. That's definitely. Network services. Maybe we shouldn't be doing any network ones. I'm less concerned about FPS. I'm more concerned about latency here. Because if we're going to be putting network stuff into idle, then there's going to be processing delays. I, I don't want that. 
Ah, uh, damn it. Off the thing. See what I'm saying? I think we need to be careful here of what we put into what we put into um, idle mode. Definitely want to put that into idle. Click to office to run. So efficiency mode. Sure, let's do multiple ones. What ones do we definitely want? I'm worried about those services. If any of those services are network related, it's going to delay things. It's going to give network lag. Then it should be all right. Well, that is. I think that's a network thing. We need a display container. I don't think we need those real time. It's just basically the app, isn't it? The container. You can actually disable that if you debloat de the um, driver when you install it, the container. Take it out completely. Um, blah, 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 blah. Lag. Processes so leaving that. Cleaner ones again. And uh, we'll throw that in there as well. Probably worth doing. I don't know what that is. I'm going to leave all these services. Out, so I don't know what that is. Satellite service. And, uh, Google update, definitely. Uh, crash report client. Unreal, it's an Unreal Engine thing. Definitely want that one. Games Launcher, yeah. Web Helper, yeah. Launcher, Fatlight, Web Helper. Uh, another Web Helper, and that one. Right, I'm going to right click all those and put them all into efficiency mode. Do I create a rule or do I? Do that. They're all going to efficiency mode. So some of these things won't let you do it. Look. Unfortunately, Defender wouldn't let me do it. So it wouldn't let me do that one. Uh, MS, MP. Yeah, so I'm going to remove the rules on that one. Remove all rules for that one. Otherwise, it's going to keep trying to do it over and over, and then you're just going to get error, error, error. It looks like it's done a few. It's done a few here. Else on that list we might want to throw in there. Right, let's go with that and see if it's made any difference to the uh, benchmark. Time. Confirm. Capture started. As I say, efficiency mode for my computer at the moment, because I don't have e-cores, just basically means putting them a lower priority, putting them to idle priority. So the game should take higher, effectively take higher precedence, even if you're not raising the game's priority. Um, Whereas on my new PC, where I have eCores, efficiency mode effectively is telling, um, telling um, the operating system to run on those eCores, so your game can focus on the eCores. It should be automatic. I shouldn't need to add all these rules. Game, game sounds too high, is it? All right, any better on that one? A bit better? Yeah, okay, cool. Took it down by five decibels. No BS.
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I don't want it kind of going a bit tough. Where actually got that? I've actually got my mic at 100%, so... And then, um, yeah, I've had to go minus 430 decibels on the, um, on the game. Just to keep it lower. That's a lot, minus 30 decibels. I think Bill should be on later. He's got the evening in. He's got Netflix. After oh, he's got Fortnite, chocolate, and beer. Apparently, this evening Bill has. Very nice. Oh yeah, I was looking again at. Um, ordering um, one of these uh, washing machine mats for my new um, computer. Just the anti-vibration things. Oh, yeah. See that? Kind of a washing machine mat that goes underneath and it's anti-vibration, but if you use it on your computer, um, you can, um, it absorbs any vibration. Which the the fans do. I mean, if you touch a computer, you can feel a bit a little bit of vibration. Capture finished. And if you're um, if you're overclocking at a really kind of um, fine level, you don't want a load of vibrations going through your PC, especially if you knock your desk or something, and the computer's on your desk. Um, so yeah, I was thinking about ordering that too this week. Add to basket. Do that. Sorry, digressing again. So that, so that, so look. So, this is the smooth. Uh, background. Right, so look. Uh, that's interesting. It's lower. There are no lows. The FPS was lower. Well, that's interesting. Let's run it twice. Better lows. I'm gonna run them all the time just to rule out a uh, margin of error. So actually, let's have a quick look at the process of suits, if it's grown any issues with it. Things we've done. So CPU tie average. How many of these are in efficiency mode right now? That one. Ally service is it worth putting that in efficiency mode. Add that to the pile, shall we? If it'll let me do it, might not even let me do it. Okay, it has. Let's have a look for B. Uh, in efficiency mode already. Think what else possibly we could add to the pile. I don't want to put DW, this one in. Desktop Windows Manager. I mean, some people. Then one of that's one of the benefits of um, running full screen exclusive mode is it bypasses this. So maybe by putting it into idle, it's a bit like doing that. You might get a bit lower latency. To do the game input service. Don't want to do service hosts because that will pretty much do every single service, which will include some network ones, will include game input device ones. So I don't want to do the service one. So 
So yeah, let's have a look. See, let's, let's run it again, see where we go. Contra, thank you for the follow. All right, T for time. And I'll read Ramesh's comment. It stabilizes. Is any better. It says it should have RSS, but the issue my driver version doesn't have it. I'll check. Hopefully there's a workaround for people who don't have RTS, RSS. No, I haven't found one. There doesn't seem to be a way of moving your interrupts to your network card. Um, there. No, there isn't. There's, a, there's another way of forcing RSS base, base um, CPU in the registry, not using the way I've done it, but it's nowhere near as clean as the way I've done it. But you still need RSS to be able to, to move it. I've got a problem with RSS with my network card and driver at the moment. Because I can move it to um, move it to a different core, the interrupt. But what it should do is that if you specify like four processes in the in the queues, if you say four RSS queues and you specify four processes associated with them, it should spread the um, DPC interrupts across them. And at the moment, what I'm seeing is it's only putting everything on that one that you've moved it to, and it's not using the other three, as it were. Um, and I, I actually opened a support case with TP-Link, who make my 10 gigabit a second network cards yesterday, and showed them showed them my findings and said, look, can you talk to the people that make your driver and see if they can get them to fix it? So because it's meant to load balance across all those cores, that's the whole point of it. And it just wasn't doing it. So I can get it to move, but I can't get it to then load across those. So it didn't really matter if I set two RSS queues, four RSS queues, or eight RSS queues. The performance was exactly the same. Uh, because it's still only loading one. It's, it's loading all the, the actual processing of the network data across every single core, every single one of the eight cores, but just not the DPC interrupts, which is the point of the RSS. So, yeah, kind of broken for me as well at the moment. But it's a good trick being able to move, being a good trick being able to move it from core zero. That's previously not been possible. Yeah, I think it's a driver problem. I think, I think with a lot of these things, is these developers don't actually test it. I mean, I was bringing up latency mon, and you can see core 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and you can see where the DPCs were, were being loaded on one core, when you're running a full load test for your um, speed test for your network, when running a gigabit a second speed test, it's fully loading just that one core with DPC requests. And you can see it's not spreading it. So uh, I, I suspect they never actually tested it. If I had another network card, so the one built into my, um, into my motherboard, the Intel one, that if that had worked, I would have been able to test it there, but it didn't work either. I tested on a clean Windows too, just in case I'd done a tweak or something that maybe broke RSS, but it, it was the same on clean Windows also. So, fresh Windows installed did exactly the same thing. It's not that either. My new computer will actually come with two network cards, an Intel one gigabit a second card and a, um, a Realtek 2.5 gigabit card. But I'm thinking of moving my actual physical 10 gig card into that as well. I actually have three in there and then I can, I can um, choose which one's the best. So more testing next week. Right, let's have a look. That was number two, wasn't it? That's the second one. Seem to be working deprioritizing those extra things. That's actually the worst, worst one we've done. Seems like my normal setup's the best though. Looking like my just normal setup's the best. Something doesn't make a significant difference, don't do it, is my rule. 
is you're just going to end up recommending something that's going to mess up somebody else's PC. You might as well just leave it default. Unless it makes a significant difference, don't do it. Don't make a change. But from what I'm seeing right now, this is really not making a difference. Idle minus? What does idle minus mean? Interesting. Never seen an idle minus before. And we've put all of these into efficiency mode, and it's pretty much done nothing because the total CPU time is probably less. It's probably not. Hang on. From here, that 14.5 seconds? That only affects it when you... I don't think it's making any difference, to be honest with you. I think they're using enough up enough CPU to warrant putting into an idle state. I just don't think they're doing much. Maybe the desktop DWM, maybe that one. But, I mean, it's doing quite a bit now because we're back on desktop. Um, but while we're in game, it's probably not actually doing anything. Battle I service, doing a little bit. But could that actually be slowing down the game? Could the game be saying, um, Battle I, check this um, while we're running and we're not going to do anything in the game until you told us it's, all co it's okay to proceed? I mean, that could be effectively slowing down Fortnite, that Battle I service, if, if it's deprioritized in theory. Again, I don't know, I'm not a developer of the, of the Epic Games code, so I don't know. Uh, retro engineering here and guessing. Yeah, I think I think it's worth just leaving it as it as it is. It's not worth it, is it? Normal setup has by by far been the best one so far. Like point six of a four. So I think I think I'm gonna go back to where I was. Go back to what I usually do. So where's the um, efficiency rule? I think I'm going to put these back to how I had them. I'm going to remove all the rules. And no more rules. Uh, the efficiency one, so it's a partial efficiency. Just don't think it warrants doing it. Certainly doesn't warrant specifying which CPUs they run on. Definitely not. Now, I'll show you something, actually. I was playing with this beforehand. Um, let me show you this. So you, because this is a battle eye day, I can actually change the... Um, uh, I can actually change the um, um, uh, CPU affinities. I can actually do that because it's a battle eye day. Um, so I was, I was playing with this earlier, and I took off, hang on, let me put on my overlay, and I can show you the cores. Let me put RTSS on, I usually put the cores on. Yeah, usually best not to disturb the entity. Yeah, I think you're right. You just don't know what it's doing. You try and ask Epic, and they definitely won't tell you. They're like, no, I'm sorry, if I told you what it was doing, then you can get around it. Oh, thanks. Nothing. Um, right, okay, so let's actually. Now let's, yeah, let's leave it on there. Leave it on there. Um, but I want the overlay. Right, overlay editor, please. Actually, come on, I haven't got an overlay out in here. Uh, load. No, it's PC, D drive. Documents. I think that's that one I want. Is that one I want? Yeah, that's the one I want. So, take over that. That's that. So, maybe 68. What, what size do I normally have? 24. 
Oh, that's probably too big. Take off the zoom, and we're good to go. Good to go. All right. So you can see in a minute the um, breakdown of the cores. So sometimes some of the cores, so I've got core 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, oh, just 7, sorry, because um, we started on 0. So you can see some of the cores are more loaded than others. And sometimes it's these two, sometimes it's two in the middle, and but it's still distributing across all eight cores, Fortnite. Some games only distribute, as I say, across less. But you can see that those two, this is color coded. So green's okay, blue's gray, green's okay, then it goes yellow, then it goes orange, then it goes red. So if I'm getting near 100% um, CPU max or anything, then it will be red up here. Um, so you can see you can see the distribution here. Um, so one thing I can do is if I turn off core 0 and 1 right now, watch what happens to the FPS. <coughs> Sorry. I'm going to go unlimited, actually. Watch what happens to the FPS, though. So unlimited. I'm going to go up to 400, 400 odd. 463. Oh, we have completely no limits right now. That so, eighty-two percent. So even unlimited, we're not still hitting the CPU max. We've got no bottleneck for the GPU. So the only possible thing that's limiting this is the speed at which the CPU is talking to the memory, I suppose, or disk. But we're not really using any disk because we're not we're not using any network. So what's limiting the FPS here? If it's not the game engine, probably code. How long it it's just taking a very long path to get somewhere. It's not efficient code. It doesn't scale. I think that's the answer to that, probably. Anyway, we're going to disable that um, one and two and see what happens to the the FPS and see what happens to everything else. So we're on about 480, right? So this is, uh, let's just disable core zero, which is what one of the, um, one of the, well, quite a lot of the YouTubers suggest to do for Fortnite. So let's, um, Fortnite, right, so we're going to CPU priority, sorry, um, CPU sets. Let's just use sets because it's not quite as hard as, as affinity. Um, Current, and we're going to we're going to basically do all of them apart from zero. Yeah, I'm going to run all of them apart from zero. So now we go back to Fortnite. 480 was before, and we're not on core zero anymore. So you can see down here, core zero is pretty much now dropped to nothing. The um, CPU max is this one at the moment, and if anything, these have just gone up a little bit higher to carry the load. And look, look at the FPS. Now we've dropped like five FPS or something most of the time. I think that's much more juddery as well. That was smoother before. It's going up and down a lot. It's actually gone up a bit now. I think. So Fortnite's running on seven cores right now. I've benchmarked this, taking off core zero, and the overall benchmark was definitely worse. And we're going to keep going. I'm going to take, take off the next one now. I'm going to take off this one, see what happens to these guys. Let's take off the next one. Memory speed, memory latency. Yeah. Are you guys going outside or something? There's a massive draft. Oh. Freezing cold. Um, sets. Um, I'm going to take off one. Right to Fortnite. All right, so the first two now are removed. And look, these gone up a bit to compensate. 
And now we're on 460. We've lost about 10 FPS now. It's interesting that the CPU max has actually come down a little bit. Just I think it's low balancing a little bit better. Certainly not scaling with um, lack of CPUs. Not the limiting factor. Let's go for another one. See how, see how far we can get. Take off another core. That one. What's the first three? Up to eighty two. We've come down to four hundred and forty FPS now. As we're dropping them, the F the to the FPS is coming down. These are quite evenly load balanced, which is good. It's doing a really good job load balancing across the remaining cores. That hasn't really gone up at all. It's basically just filled in the, um, the less utilized cores more, giving them more work to do. It's load balancing pretty well. What happens if we go for another one? Yeah, one core game. Here we go. Okay, so this is basically half. We've half the number of cores available to the game now. Oh. Oh, I just, it just, Power cycled. Computer just power cycled. Didn't like that at all. Not even a blue screen of death there. Straight power cycled. Well, that's interesting. That's the PSU or something doing that. Triple got a new computer on me. Yeah, computer said no. <laughs> the computer said no on that one. That's four cores. I'm, I'm going to try and run it. You're not getting away with that one. Um, it didn't like that, did it? Just pure power cycled. That's just the game. I mean, it's not like I'm restricting everything to, um, to just those four cores. The operating still could. Everything else could run on all the cores. It was just the game that just caused that. Let's see if we can run Fortnite on four cores without the computer going no. Appreciate my work and dedication. Oh, yeah, somebody's got to find this stuff out. Nobody else is testing it, especially not live. I want to know. All right, so we are we back to how many cores are we back to? Uh, and he said it's a current, didn't I? So it's it's not gone to always. So it's back onto a, back onto all the cores. So I think I, I don't I don't see an advantage of um, of turning off core zero. I don't. Um, have I got that benchmark on here? Let's see if I've got a benchmark. Enzo just resubscribed for two months. Thank you, Enzo. Uh, let's see, let's see if I've got this on here. Bum, 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 bum. 
did it a while ago. It was before I did this. Before I did this. Or is it about here? Otherwise I'll load it from my um, Discord. Everyone's reinstalled their Discord, by the way, I assume, to 64-bit. Uh, you need to reinstall Discord to 64-bit. They've been um, pumping out everybody with 32-bit Discord, so now they've updated it to, by default, 64-bit. So it's worth uninstalling Discord and then reinstalling the 64-bit one. Haven't already. I can't find it. I'm sure I've done it though, so let's just go and have a quick look. Let's have a quick look at my benchmark. I didn't publish it. Maybe I just did it live. I can't remember. Oh. Uh, I might. Oh, wait. There we go. There we go. There we go. There we go. Did publish it. Let's zoom in a little bit. We can see that. So yeah, so the, it's basically the first one is um, taking off core zero. The second one is is running all cores. Third one's running all cores, and the last one's taking off core zero. And as you can see, I think there's pretty much margin of error between all those. That really doesn't make much difference if you take off core zero. Which you can't do anyway for a battle eye day. So pointless. Oh, sorry, easy entry cheat day, I mean. Battle eye days will let you take off core zero and easy entry cheats won't let you touch the Fortnite EXE. Won't let you change anything for it. So Zero difference, from my experience doing that. I think we pretty much saw there with the 480 was, FPS was pretty much same either way. I love watching on YouTube for the single greatest function I can rewind the stream. Yeah, rewind. Uh, you earlier said the Windows Defender causes performance drops. Yes, it does. Uh, what happens if I put, only for Intel though, uh, what happens if I put my entire C drive on the exclusion list? No, that doesn't work. Try that. I've tried putting executables on the exclusion list. The exclusion list is only for um, is not doesn't is not for real time scans. That's for manual scans. The exclusion list <coughs> doesn't work. Tried it. Been there. Done that. Tried it. Tried it. Tried it. That would be really useful if you could add things to the real-time exclusion lists. Really useful, that would be. Um, I don't think I've got it on here, but yeah. Tried all that. So, I think, I think we're um, where we need to be at the moment. I don't think we should be messing around too much with it. Leave the efficiency mode things as they were. I mean, that black screen of death could have been because I put something into efficiency mode that I shouldn't have done. What are the rules? Just sort by rules, just got some rules. That's got XCG. That's got exclusion programs. 
What's the G? Man, is this one? Let's explore programs of the performance mode. So RTSS in normal mode, and the game in induced performance mode and exclude from ProBots. I think that's probably all I'm going to go with. Maybe some of these that I know that I don't need while I'm gaming. I can stick to always on for efficiency mode. Like that. Um, Flip to run office, definitely we'll put that in efficiency mode. Some of the things you know that you can put in efficiency mode. But maybe some of the Epic Games launcher stuff. You know, it seems to be doing it on its own already, look. It seems to have put it in its own thing for starters, that's idle. Google update, you can definitely put that in efficiency mode. But the rest, questionable. Very questionable. Doesn't seem to help. Um, I can play if you're around, Bill. If you want to run some, we can certainly play. Me yeah, um, reboot. Go into my main gaming environment. As long as you've got your beer and chocolate at the ready. <laughs> you got something for me to share? Gonna grow grab it. What time is it? It's only past nine. Where's today gone? Hey, it's vanished today. How am I going to split up my new two terabyte drive on my new PC? I've only got one SSD. I'll need somewhere to do backups to. I was thinking of using one of the network adapters to actually do PC to PC direct. I have a crossover cable between the two PCs and I can effectively use my, my old PC as a um, file server with a crossover cable. I'm thinking of doing that. I don't know. I don't know how I'm gonna how I'm gonna split it. Whether I'm gonna split the two terabyte drive into two environments, test environment and the gaming environment. Maybe I'll do that. A terabyte on each. I think I need a separate test from gaming just because it it's cleaner. And then I can run the full um, NVIDIA experience center with the NVIDIA reflex latency and loads of stuff with it as well. Right, I was messing around in here first though, so I need to make sure. These guys, okay, I haven't, I haven't set anything. I shouldn't have set. Let's see. Right, this is a different environment to the one we were just on. This is my main gaming environment. That's on end for normal. Anything in here we need to deprioritize? I don't think so. It's pretty clean to me, this environment. Maybe that. You say. A lot of this is just getting to know your computer. Recognizing processes. Know what you need and what you don't need running. Probably got anything here on here. Let's button this up. Where are we at? 0.38, 0.48-ish. That's fine. I don't think I've done anything too crazy. Got my network um, things on CP4, I believe. All right, sign up, Bill, sign up. I'm coming, I'm coming. Ooh, you know what? I need to double check. Um, 
magnetic configuration and have a look at efficiency mode basically as well. Efficiency mode. See, why is that in efficiency mode? Why is the Fortnite client in efficiency mode? This is why I checked the thing. Why is that in efficiency mode right now? Wait, where is it? I guess you've got to start. Helps if I start it, of course. Bum, 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 bum. Sweaty as hell recently, games. No matter what we try, it's been so sweaty. Yeah, we've tried everything. We've tried um, mobile devices, switches, new account, brand new accounts. Nothing we do can stop our lobbies being full of crown team sweats. Nothing. Tried everything. Why is that working? Do, 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 Billy Boy, there we go. Oh, crikey, I'm pulling my own earphones out. And join the Discord. Always helps if I join the Discord. And let's go and check process to see that I unpack the game into efficiency mode accidentally on purpose. Uh, what night? Evening. Hello, hello, hello. Why did that say efficiency mode? Look, 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 look what's this? Lord. Uh, remove all rules, please. And efficiency mode. All I want is to do is induce performance mode and exclude from pro balance. That's it. On real time. I don't think I want real time. I think the default is high. For battle I days. I don't want real time in case that crashes. That's high. I prefer to doing this in the um, easy anti cheat days. I know then it will just stop me doing it. Are we on a battle I day? We're on a battle I day, yeah. Well, I am at least. You are. Let's see whether I can see what I can see on mine. Um, uh, I'm an I'm an easy anti cheat. That's why it's so it's random. Uh, yeah, I booted up I don't know, minutes before you. I hardly ever get battle eye, you know. Don't know why. Yeah. I do get it, but every time I get battle eye, I get a little pop up when the game is starting up. Yeah. I can see. Whereas with the easy anti cheat, I don't get that. It's annoying I that. Ever see it. Actually, battle eye, that little pop up, um, conflicts with my Norton. It actually um, quarantines Norton. <laughs> it's really nice. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Not load this Norton driver. Hmm, thanks. All right, I think we're where we should be. Nothing. Reset everything. Make sure. I have nothing. Yeah, that's fine. Let's go. I think we're good. Ultimate performance power plan. I think we're good to go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Find the sweaty lobbies. Yep. Uh, Seska's in the squad. 
Probably playing with rapper or something. Oh, shit. No, rapper's got off. Is he? Yeah, yeah. He just raided out. Oh, I missed it. Gave out 28k V bucks and then left. So how's Saturday gone? Is it already Saturday? It is Saturday. It how's is Saturday it's gone? Disappeared. I've just died doing stuff. It's gone nine o'clock. <laughs> I didn't have breakfast until six p.m. when my curry arrived. Oh my god. Um, so it's been a weird one today. I'm on a different time zone, clearly. Yeah. So Ramesh is saying, usually on EAC days, you'll be able to change the affinity cores of your Epic Launcher, which will then run the game on the correct cores. I do this when I play EA Play for, for something else. No, I've tried that. It doesn't. It doesn't. I think you can, it, it does... Um, what does it, it does carry over if you run um, the launcher as administrator, it will then run the everything underneath it as administrator. But in terms of cores, affinities, process priority, it, it won't it won't work. It doesn't work. I've tried it. Hey Alessio. How you doing? You know what I was going to do? I'm getting fed up with the mini-map at the moment, not showing us anything. So I was actually going to put my stats on top of the mini-map. This is a protest. Oh, what? <laughs> this is a protest. <laughs> <laughs> right, I'm going to stick it top right. There you go. I'm going to go up there. Do you know, I saw something really oh, I'll, 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 really cool, actually. And it, um, I forget who it was. It wasn't Cam Nuts. It was Cosmic, who plays with Ship. Yeah. And he's got like his little logos. You know, you've got your Alexander the Dad's son. Yeah. He's got this sort of eagle. Yeah, it's like a black circle with a white eagle in it. And he's actually positioned that as a as a dog on his uh, mini map. So where his little triangular arrow would be on the mini map, he's got his um, stream logo. Oh, okay. So when so when you look at his mini map, it looks like he's got a custom mini map. Oh, nice. Yeah, you can do that. I suppose. Just hide his... Because the triangle never moves, right? From like yeah. an XY perspective, it never moves. But he's got it like small enough that you, you just about covers his little triangle. Um, and it looks quite cool. I thought, I wonder how he's got like a custom I think I've seen thing. That, right? But then I realized it doesn't turn yeah. round. So yeah, um, I was like, oh, how's he, how's he done that? And then I realized it was just a stream yeah. overlay. But it looked quite cool. Okay, well, I'm doing that now. Hang on. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh, it's a bit weird being over in the top corner. You can't see anything now. Nah, the st uh, I don't know about that. Yeah, it looks a bit weird. Um, I, will um, start. I need to kind of get rid of the background for it. Be alright if I got rid of the background. Yeah, I mean, it's faffable, isn't it? Yeah. Right, don't forget to thank your bus driver. Too late. Suck Too out. late. <laughs> um, I was watching, my son sent me a YouTube short earlier mm -hmm. uh, where somebody calculated how many times we've thanked the bus driver. Really? <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't added to that number, but I'm assuming no, it's in no. billions. Uh, 38.9 billion, I think it was. Something uh, like that. Yeah. Where's that? Oh, we have a real person here. Yeah. The one. Oh, he's in a wheel. Really bad. Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I just got out of it. Let's out of the car. Whoa, 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 on the hill, I'm dead, I'm dead. Bloody hell, on the hill. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh. On the they're hill. Gonna the they're going to push me like crap. They're going to push me like hell now. It's cold, it's good. 
They had a um, mythic waterbender. Okay. I need to kill the bot. It's going to give me away, give my position away. Hang on. There we go. I can't see him now. He's hiding. No, I can't see him. I couldn't see him at all. Where's he gone? I don't know, but I'm looking. I'm not opening the vault till he uh, till he shows his face. I don't carry shotguns anymore. Oh, wait, I just... <laughs> DMR, if you want to carry that instead. Oh, I'd love to. If I was blind, deaf, dumb, and stupid. Your favorite, favorite gun in the game, right? What happened to that guy? He, he, uh, he got me to like 10 health. No way he should have dipped. Nope. No dipping. Oh, another DMR here. Oh, joy. Do you need a mini? Nice, oh, yes, please. Thank you. Uh, you don't need a med kit, I do. I don't know where that guy went. Gotta go to Lavish. Yeah. Oh, he's here. Oh, coming back. No, no, you got. He's coming to you. Oh, he's going to get a card. The guy I killed. Okay. Where did you kill him? Um, in the little room at the side. Okay, he's under me, clingering. Hey, that's me, clingering. Oh, that's you, clingering. Okay. He's gone, he's gone. Get him, get him, get him. Dead, dead, dead. dead. Nice. Assuming he's got a water bending scroll, because that's... Yep. Are you taking it? Uh, so that's yeah. an airbending scroll, it's not a wallbending scroll. Oh, airbending, right, okay. Okay, so that's not the guy that was shooting so That's not the guy, nope. Really? Purple Huntress, DMR. We're going to make it to um, Lavish at some point today. Maybe. Um, look at the bounty, that's the guy who was waterbending you to our right. To my right, to your right. To me, to you. <laughs> That's yeah, changed though, that arrow, the orientation of it. So, And that does help me when I'm looking in certain directions to line it up. Yeah. So if I put a... You put something over... Well, I mean, you're talking about putting your stats over it, so... Yeah, but I can still see everything through the stats. See, I wouldn't. I don't know that I could do that. You Ooh, not the hired. Bot, or do you want me to? Not hired. Um, can you um, talk to us if we get some more meds? Yeah, yeah. Big pot. If you need that, you can take that. And then we've got barrels in here when we're when you've. No, I don't need them now. If I'm taking the big pot. You take the big pot, then I'll hit the barrels. Yeah. It's here. Uh, it doesn't. She doesn't give you anything the second time, does she? No. Right, I'll hire her, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go find the sniper lady. Lady what snipes? She's good. Oh, yeah, got three on me. Yeah. Not. He was quite weak already. Wait, are we in squads here? I don't know what we're in. Could be in trios. Just three of them. I need that big pot. Do 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 do. Right, let's go. Sniper. Oh, I keep saying side saddle. Now I've got these um, two monitors in a V in front of me. Oh, no. I'm kind of seeing straight on still and then looking to the left as opposed to just 
turning my chair around a bit and looking straight out of the monitor. <laughs> my neck. Should I move it down? Might be better down. Oh, oh, what was that? What? That's not the bot, that's a guy here. Alright, it's a bot, it's a bot, it's a bot. Friendly sniper 27. Sniping bots, they just change direction right at the last second, like that. He literally just ducked underneath it. <laughs> Those things to snipe in the game, bots. GPU overclock does matter for right now, improves 1% lows. Not on my test, it doesn't. Doesn't do anything. You're gonna hire it, yeah? Uh, yeah. Can you? Oh no. Can you? You're running away. Uh, I dropped some bunks here somewhere. Oh, I've got those. I want to wait till the very next day. For anything, it makes it makes FPS worse because you're running you're running at higher temperatures because you're running um higher voltages with the overclocks. So it actually makes things worse. Thing that significantly helps is disabling dynamic P state. That actually helps, not the overclock. Okay, we've got people on us here. Yep. Um, air bending scroll. Come on in. Yep. Get out of the way, bot's gonna kill me. Oh, God. Reloading. Aim. Oh, one. One's camp in the reboot van. Got oh, two. Yeah. Where is he? Uh, All dead. All dead. Oh, the bot's gonna res me. Thank That's boy. nice. My bot Fine. dead. Don't know. Thank you. Round players, bot lobbies. <laughs> um, that's quite a shock. I don't know what you got for movement. Did you get air bending? I got an air bending, yeah. Good. Do you have the card for the um, bot? No. Bot? You don't. Which is what I was looking for when they suddenly that's jumped us. over here, or it's normally um, out the front. There he is. I got it, I got it, I got it, I got it. Big pot, but have I got no minis? Uh, there's, there's loads of stuff here. That's oh, alright. Yeah, I've got two bigs. I'll just pop these. Yeah, there's purple snipers and things over there. Oh, a gold sniper, but oh, no scope. No, I'm not taking that. I haven't lost a game since I've given up, given up shotguns. <laughs> there's, there's definitely a correlation there. Yep. I haven't coughed since I gave up smoking. No. It's different. Uh, should I undervolt if I get average 50 degree core temp? Wait. Oh. 24k. Are you talking about Fortnite here? Uh, what GPU have you got? What are your relative GPU and CPU percentages? Like mine, over here at the moment, pretty much add up to well, it's th like 30 and 70-ish. What are you seeing? Because my bottleneck is not my GPU, so clearly. So making my GPU faster will clearly make no difference.
Oh. You got people? Hot people. I'm a real bot. Oh, these bots love to duck. Oh, oh, real people coming in. Oh, crap. Let me Sure, there were two more players in here. Yeah, there's one oh, footsteps. Nice. Oh, dead, popped. Okay. Well, Degrees, then. core temp. Uh, what, what temperature am I running at right now? 47. I'm not running any overclock at all. I'm only disabling dynamic P states. Only thing I'm doing. It's the only thing that helps in Fortnite. That NVIDIA control panel rubbish they're talking about. Tweaking. Yeah, it doesn't help at all. We just kept flag. We did cap the flag. There they. Already? Lifting, yep. yep. Land on them. Yeah. Not on them, on them, but. No, but. One. Right, I need to do damage. One. Oh, nearly. Nice. <laughs> Jump straight onto you there. Yay. Uh, take that one. We call hell. Yeah, it always helps when you headshot snipe the first guy. That always yeah. helps. Fire bending. We're still fire bending. Airbender here. Got one. Okay. Right, where are we going? What are we doing? I'm modding my guns. You're moderating. Nope. While I'm here, I'm going to move my RTSS down a little bit. Around. Move it down a little bit. Where I prefer. I don't really want those numbers right in the middle. That's the thing. Where's the trains in storm? So we need to go back up north. You have to lavish, go to the bunker. Oh, this could end up being quite a yeah. classy courts type circle. Well, that was a silent reload on my AR there. That was interesting. Yeah, I had a silent AR yesterday, but the problem was it didn't make it... Not only did it not make a noise, it also didn't hit any bullets. Okay, I'm dropping it just in case. Uh, I mean, uh, now it's making shoot, noise. I was going to say, if you can shoot a wall or something to test, then no, silent crazy. AR is nice. But are you rotating? Where are you rotating yeah. to? Over that here hill. On high, yeah. Just in case there's somebody in the bunker here and we can just um, beam them. Mm -hmm. My scan bot will tell us, or your scan bot, when it beams over. It's been done, but I couldn't hear any footsteps when I just flew over close. Ten left, five left, five left. Gosh. It's us and one squad of three. Yeah. And they're not in the bunker. They must be miles away because we didn't hear them kill the other ones. Okay. I think we should get over a bit more central. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's 
going to open some more chests down here. See any more bunkers to carry? Um, let me know. Full gold if you're not. Glad I moved over here early. You good? Miles over there. I yep, found them. They're on the train station. Okay. They're on the train. 116 on the guy on the train. They're down on the train uh, station right now. Right, I'm going to get in more on this bridge because we're going to be holding yep. them that way. Yep. I'm airbending to you. Um, if we can get to here, this will be ideal, but they might not let us get to here. They're right below here. Right below us. Yeah, I've got footprints. Oh, yeah, I see him. 116 on Ang. One here on Ang. Got one knocked. One behind us. Oh, no. It's... I was getting hit, but it looked like it was between. Oh, he's, he's on the hill. There you go over there. Oh, of course. Oh, yeah. Ooh, so close. 36 on the head. Did the, um, did the boy avatar get up? Yeah, well, there's one down here. He did, he did, and yeah. And there's the one on your hill, and that's it. 290 him. Lost him, yeah. Right, so it's just the one over there now, isn't it? Uh, if, you, if you've just 290 that kid, yeah. Unless they're actually together and he's rezzing, I don't know. No, he's coming out here, so he's going to try and rez. No oh, yeah, way. I see him. No, he's not going to rez. Oh, two ninety. Don't get caught on low ground. Okay, we were the sweats in that lobby. We were. Now it's everyone else's turn. Four and seven. <laughs> GGs. GG. GG. Oh, yeah. Yep. I finished. Finally finished drilling my hole in my wall today. Oh, nice. I fed my cable through. Um, it was. It's been more of a struggle than I expected to drill a hole in a wall and put an Ethernet cable through it. Yeah. Um, but it is done. I've also bought some nice little um wire brush. Not wire brush, these sort of brush um, wall sockets. So the cable feeds through like a set of brushes. Okay. Um, looks really sexy. <laughs> Not like I call wall but socket <laughs> sexy, but did I just call wall sockets? Yeah, sexy? you did. No, it looks really nice. Too much chocolate. It looks really nice. No, it's the beer that. <laughs> it looked really nice. Sorry. It's an absolute disaster behind the socket, but the socket looks okay. Yeah, I was saying to chat earlier, I'm looking to get some anti-vibration mat things for oh, my yeah. new PCs that you usually use for washing machines. And I, I had, yep. I had, I had a, kind of a Finnish one for Jake for years because he's always banging his desk and I was worried that he was going to turn his computer off or something in the middle of his lesson or something. Um, but yeah, my, my, if, you, if you touch the front of your PC, the fans, I can definitely feel the vibration from them. So I've got... Really? Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. So the whole oh, PC wow. case, I can, I can feel it vibrating a little bit. Oh wow! I don't awesome, hear anything like that on mine, really. No, I can't, I can't hear it. I can just feel it no. if I touch it gently. Wow. Um, so yeah, if I've got kind of um, really fine level overclocks on my memory and CPU, I don't really want me banging my desk or the computer next mm. to it, kind of interfering. So yeah, I was thinking about getting. Okay, yeah. Twenty quid. Um, Matt. Rubber mat for it. Why not? Sounds good. If I remember rightly though, it smells quite bad for the first week or oh, two yeah. while it's airing. Yeah, I bet. Rubber smell. Yep. It's like when you've been in the bedroom with them. No, never mind. When <laughs> <laughs> you're wearing the mask. When she wants you to do it, no. Monica. 
Comes with the inflatable pump. <laughs> Unpack Rachel and get out the puncture repair kit. That's a red dwarf quote, by the way. You were. Apparently. Frames win games, apparently, Viper. I've been told. So the thing, um, Zeppo sent me an article today about how um, Azus has just released an update to their BIOS, whereby they're now restricting, um, they're restricting Intel processors like they should be power-wise, not giving them unlimited power, melting them. Okay. So I'm hoping, um, and in fact, the boss of Epic replied a tweet about it and said, thank goodness, because um, about time too, because it's just been a nightmare trying to get games not to crash on these um, stupidly high powered CPUs. Oh, really? Yeah. So he yeah. replied today on that. Oh, well, that's good. Yeah. So I'm hoping yeah, MSI do the people. same thing. For their boss. Loads of people were having problems with them, weren't they? With yeah, the, yeah. the KS crash. and the... Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. So it's exactly for that. So that's wow. actually been moving. The progress has that have been quite, quite fast. There are players over there, but I'm not going to go over there yet. Cause... Yeah, it's a bot team. They land there every time. Do you want to hop yeah, in or no? Was, someone was leaping. I'm nearly here. So I'm good. Right. I have. Uh... I need yeah, some heals. Feet. Is what I need. Yep. We got feet in here. Oh, what's that water bending? Uh, blue AR here, good one. I'm hiring her, by the way. Hey. Did you kill all, all right. the feet? And the feet dead? Killed oh, one. Right. Killed one. He was crawling around here. I killed him, but then I let him go. Let's see. Yeah, they're fine down here. I mean, I can come to you. We can go and push them. I need some heals, that. Yeah. I don't really want to take fights. Unless that. Unless. I need some minis or something. Maybe. That's a lot of ammo chests and not many chest chests. Somebody in here in the building with me? Come in your way. He's, I don't see him. It's scanned. Our footprints. I see the chest, but I don't. Yeah, I see the footprints. Dead. First. But there okay. is another guy here. Left side. In the box. Dead. Another one behind him. Yep. My bot's shooting at them. Where Wait, is he? Oh, I see. So it's twenty sixty-three. Another AI. Oh, hang on, come. hang on. Oh yeah, do the fire, do the Let's fire do thing, Julie. Yeah. Well, there's bananas, but there's not blues. Oh, I can't. I can buy them any this game. Oh, some minis here. I can throw them. Oh, no, no. Where are where? Over here. Over there, yep. Yep. And we'll carry them. Uh, do wolf board. Yeah, that's some, oh, right. somebody on the front lawn, the left side. If there's any in here. You still looking for gold? Uh, I got four one. Yeah, there's gold here. While you're in here. No, I'm gone. Well, you were in here, but you've run off now. Oh, I'm gone. I want to get that kind of front door. 
Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. The booger skin, I think. And I'll read that in a sec. I'll kill this guy first. Uh, have you thought about adding a part way set mouse and keyboard priority in a script, adding a part explaining filter keys? Just curious. Not really, principally because um, um, I don't use keyboard and mouse, so it's difficult for me to test these things in game, what the effects are. So I wouldn't know where to begin to um, say whether something's better or worse um, for keyboard and mouse. So. I kind of just do bare minimum at the moment, I'm afraid. Uh, they're up here. You guys are welcome to test for me and tell me what's good. Yeah, I see him. Still fighting towards the bridge, though. Oh, and feet. Yeah, there's a guy right near yeah, yeah. the bush. Right near the bush. Just to the right of the bush, the light. I can't see that, he's behind the hill. Right here. Two, yeah, see and one here as well. Hello. Like that. Oh, fuck, finally. Yep. More. Still a half pot down. There should be guys. Oh, if you come here a sec, there's three, three thingies. Three okay. barrels. Three. I'm looking, sorry, I'm looking around. Oh, okay, I'm right. coming back. I'm coming back for the barrels. There were two guys over here, but they haven't, the bunker hasn't opened. So I'm wondering whether they were going for the bunker or, or what. Right, let's hit the barrels. There we go. Then. Some chest Minis upstairs. Don't get that There's noise. I'm gonna pop this biggie okay. for the last twenty or so. Right. How are my frames looking? They're looking good. Cat would say. That's what I've got. <laughs> Yeah. Right, twenty three percent GPU. My GPU is bored out of his mind. I've got an old rubbish GPU. I'm not overclocked. Right, the bunk is opening. I'll draw some attention. You've gone gone. Oh. Gone there you go. Scan. One crawling, one not. There's some of that. There's a purple snipe here if you'd like. Nah. I'm not good with the snipes now that they've nerfed them. So you've got to do quick snipes, that's the best thing. Just, well, uh, like you say, it's, it's only good as a shotgun. Yeah. Close up, quick scope. Oh, there's bunks here. Oh, I have to take them. I'll not have bunks. Got enough bullets now. Bunks. So yeah, you know, uh, Cisco was posting about how iPhone players are still a on chapter two or something. Oh yes, yeah. Um, I did check all my I, um, Apple devices. I think I, I deleted Fortnite off because it didn't work. I didn't realize that um, you could actually still get it to work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So until I formatted my iPhone, so I had an iPhone 7 and it had all my work stuff on it. And then I've dis it started, the battery started swelling and I thought, oh, okay. that's not good. And rather than pay like another 1500 quid for an iPhone that I don't use, yeah. I thought I'm just going to get a dual SIM in the one that I've got now. So I've got an Android for personal use and it's got dual SIM slot. So I just thought I'll move to that. But before I f um, factory reset the iPad, iPhone, I actually went and played again on Fortnite and it's the season with Sweaty Sands at the top left. I actually came third, really? um, which was quite cool. Um, air bending, air bending. Uh, uh, yeah, air, I don't have, that's good. 
Yeah, I actually came third. I, it, and it's all builds, though. Because there was no uh, zero builds, okay. so right? So it's all so, bots, surely. Um, yeah, well, no. There was maybe... I think there was one real person in the lobby, yeah. Gold if for everything that you may need. Um, yeah, it was it was literally like there was one per like one or two people. But I, I think I played it like middle of a Saturday afternoon or something. But I can I can say that there will be no real people playing anymore. No. Uh, so shares. I am at no means an expert, but I can 100% say that filter keys is something you can test and should add. Windows will not register a key that you press within 0.5 seconds again. That's why it's so good. Mm. Yes, it doesn't have anything to relate to your FPS, but it's one thing that will improve anybody at a decent level immediately. Okay. A uh, guy here. Just pinged. Yeah. He's dead. Yeah, behind as well. Who? I wanted to firebend him. 290. Gotta get this. Gotta right. get this stupid challenge finish. <laughs> yeah, I keep getting that I can't ADS with the fire. I keep ADSing and the doing that stupid it, it? bounce thing. <laughs> oh. How's that fireworks going off? Yeah. It's been a weird game. Oh, I don't know. Oh. Another weird game. Only one good. Car, car, car. Yep. Keep going to rock. Oh, come on, that's a headshot. That's a headshot, finally. Two sixteen in, I'm going for this. Oh, whoa, 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 there's literally somebody on me. How did that happen? Where what? did he even come from? Yeah, I don't know, but he's uh the bot's getting me now as well. It is, but what the hell? Ah. Uh, yeah, look at your health and look oh. at mine. Um, Landed right on him there. Let me go and see if there's some there's a meg here. Heels over here. Oh yeah, throw that at me. I'll tag it and I'll come back for it. We were in the bunker though, weren't we? Where's the bunker? Yeah, we were in a bunker. Uh... Oh, there's somebody going into the bunker right now. Okay. The bar. The bar. Rated on a curve. I'm gonna win by the time. Why am I missing that? Bots are gonna get me killed. Right, don't. He oh, had half bots at least. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good for heals now. Good. I just need a big pop. At some point, if you see one, look in the bunker. There must be some. Nothing here, though, right? Yeah, it's minis. No, uh, I'm 50 already. All right, that's fine. There's only nine up anyway. Okay, minis again. No, in the bunker there's nothing. Any minis? Okay. Alright. Yeah, it's all good. So where are we going? Were we oh guy behind us. Somebody coming to us. Yeah. Finally. Really? I've lost him. Oh he's down low. Let me get him. Oh he popped. He did have a big pot for me though. Oh here, here. Let's go pop this biggie then. I'm missing. Ah, oh, it's bloody gone. Oh, driving me nuts. Where are they? Dead. All dead. 
Okay. Might have had some heals though. There's a pop up. Pop up. I'm good. I got it. I got it. I already hot. I already did it. This has been a weird game. There's been some really bad players in it. It's just, yeah. Um, last team. Last team of three. Uh, yeah. I reckon, I, were they island, do you reckon? Yeah. Let's go on the building, uh, let's go on the um, train station. Yep. Oh yeah, look at the coins coming in quick. Oh yeah? Nearly on us, they are on us. Oh yeah, yeah, there they are, airbending. Just don't... Right here, right here. Yeah, yeah, I see. Him. I'm dead. Again. You're dead? Yeah, we? well, 54. Just railed the crap out of me. Oh, yeah, I see him. Not last guy's in the airbender over here. Need their heals if there are any. Five in this kid. I've got water bending, haven't I? I can just find some water. Have you? Oh, good. All I need to do is go into some water. I can just do this. Whoa, it went through his head! My health ticking up. Hey, Max Health. No eyes on him at all. Yeah, he's yeah, yeah, yeah. Chasing him. Yeah, he's gone round to the left there. Why would he do that? One circle, unless he's going to get his mates up. Yeah, maybe. Uh, he's here. Yeah, he's that bending round. He's just, yeah, he's just going to continue doing that until I do he's that. He's dead. A flourish. What's a cheat? What's going on? I'm concerned. <laughs> After what it's been like for the last couple of days. Yep. To actually, that was the thing. Copy. Hold. Come on. <laughs> um, that one. Fortnite chat. That was nice. Wait, what? No, I just, I just hit the pad and it didn't bounce. Somebody gonna grab that crown? Are we gonna have a crown player to beat? Nope, doesn't Clearly look like not. it. Clearly not. Nobody is crown grinding. I'll be over this side of them. Well, there are crowns in the feed though. Do. 
guy only got about 300 damage with the firebender there. About to visit the Peely houses as well. They're down at the south edge though. Peely houses? Yeah. Uh, visit potential house locations for Peely. Got another fire bending scroll if you need it. Yep. Have you um kill these bots. Done the um killing the uh, cabbages. No, I was killing them with an air bend. Oh, he took a lot of health off me. There you go. There's a fire bender for the um, cabbages here. Yeah. I've got. Uh, I've got the. No, I haven't got the fire. Have I? Still on. To destroy the cabbages. Mini for you. Let me add some. Oh, no, no, I just nearly picked up a shotgun. Did Ooh, you do the cabbages? You haven't, you haven't destroyed them. Oh, no, I haven't done them. Do you need them? It was one of the challenges. You have to destroy oh, yeah, yeah, with, with that, the fire like bending. A decade ago. Okay. Yeah, I did that a decade ago. I need, I need yeah, some yeah. cabbages. So. Yeah, I need the uh, card for the vault. Here a car. Oh, there it is. Found it. I think I'm going to turn off YouTube. It's done all the testing stuff, and YouTube tends to be um, mostly people wanting to That's watch the test stuff. Yep. So if you're on YouTube, jump over to my um, Twitch stream now. You can continue watching if you want to.